I've wondered about the concept before, but I've never really went too deep into thought about it. But after a while, I started to think about it more and more and what the outcomes would be if Lars was never revived by Steven's Tears on Homeworld. It's not mentioned all that much anymore because this event happened so long ago, so most of the fan base right now is hyper focused on the White Diamond stuff, which is completely understandable. But Lars's, be it short time death, was one of the most major occurrences in Steven Universe. We had never seen a character flat out die on screen before until this happened. The closest we had gotten to death in Steven Universe was the idea of Rose shattering Pink Diamond, which is the only way a gem can be killed or die is by breaking their gemstone. At the time of Lars dying, we were still a long way before knowing Rose was Pink Diamond the whole time almost a year actually i don't think we found out until uh rose was pink diamond until like april and these uh this episode came out in may when lars died so yeah about a year steven universe always had a more serious tone to it especially since towards the end of season one onward when we started to learn more about the what gems are actually about and a bit more about the gem war it definitely earned the tv pg rating seeing lars die though was one of the most intense moments in the show to date and it just made me appreciate the risks the show was taking another significant plot point to lars dying was the audience learning steven did technically have healing tears, but the tears were able to bring an organic life form back to life again. Not only that, but the revived being would be granted pink skin, the ability to no longer get hungry or thirsty, and have a portal inside their hair that leads to a, their own pocket dimension that is also linked to the uh, another being who has been revived in the same manner's pocket dimension, in this case Lion. We learned Lion had died in the past due to this, and Pink Diamond was the one who revived him. I believe this power also grants someone potential immortality as well, or at the very least a much longer lifespan than a normal creature from whichever species they are. Lars finding out about these powers on top of learning he did in fact die and Steven was the one to bring him back to life made him even braver than he had already been acting in the previous episode. He was willing to stay behind on Homeworld so he could finally pay Steven back for all the help he's given him throughout the series. Lars used to just brush off Steven's good doings as him being annoying or lame, but he matured up and realized how impactful Steven has been on his life in a positive way. If Lars stayed dead, the rest of the development that served as the cherry on top for his character would have never happened. Him staying on Homeworld, becoming the captain of the off colors, stealing stuff from Homeworld, we wouldn't have gotten to see. Of course, his previous bravery would have been appreciated, you know, him um, blocking the Robonoids from shattering the off colors, because he's still able to sacrifice himself to protect the off colors, and he didn't even know them like that. Since Lars never would have became a space captain, we wouldn't have been able to see the first pink diamond reveal in Stevani's Dream in Jungle Moon. The only reason they were on the Jungle Moon in the first place was because they crash landed in a ship they got from Captain Lars. Granted, this dream sequence may have still been able to happen in a different circumstance, but it's hard to say though. In most of Steven's pink diamond-esque dreams, he's had to be in a setting where pink diamond had previously been in before. He's had to like fall asleep in that setting, with the exception of first seeing the pink diamond palanquin, I suppose, which was in South Korea and when he fell asleep he was in beach city with the dream about him thinking pearl shattered pink diamond he fell asleep on the moon base and the flashback took place on the moon base with the jungle moon he fell asleep in one of yellow diamond's old bases and that's where the dream took place as well i'll leave it up to the imagination for you guys on that one it's it's a little tricky the off colors would still be stranded on homeworld more than likely same with steven too the only reason steven was able to get off homeworld actually was because lars had been revived with lion's powers so he was able to just portal back through lion but let's say steven is somehow able to find another way back I'm just using this as a reason to go over how other Beach City characters would react to finding out Lars is gone for good. I'd say Steven, Lars's parents, and Sadie would be the three characters most affected by Lars's death out of all the characters in the show. Steven would potentially feel responsible for Lars's death because if he wasn't associated with his mom, Lars would have never been taken in the first place and this and the invasion would have never happened. This could lead to a potential internal character conflict arc with Steven on how he can move forward and use the experience to better things for future endeavors. Lars's parents, that's pretty obvious, it's their own son. Like, of course they're going to be devastated. They were already shown to be pretty sad and anxious off the fact that he was still up on Homeworld alone. Like, they assumed he was still alive, but they were still worried because he was so far away. But this would be even worse because there'd be zero chance of him returning. They seem like fairly reasonable people, so I don't necessarily think they would blame Steven for this tragedy, but if they were to put a blame on something, it would be probably on Gemkind, since Gemkind was the one that took him away, technically. Sadie and Lars have had their ups and downs, but for a while, they've been really close and have kept their relationship almost entirely positive. As far as I'm concerned, they haven't technically taken that step into boyfriend-girlfriend status, but all we, we do know that we love, they love each other. It's, it's pretty obvious at this point. With Lars still alive, but in the homeworld area, Sadie was acting depressed and worried about Lars being gone. She eventually adopted the persona of Sadie Killer and began her singing hobby and formed a band with the cool kids to help get her mind off of Lars. This scenario still has the potential to happen, even with Lars being dead, but it'd probably just take longer for Sadie to get adjusted to finding enjoyment out of singing around others and making this her new passion. I'd say moving on from one of your closest loved ones dying, then 
not thinking about how they're doing from much farther away is, is harder. The Crystal Gems wouldn't feel super sad per se, but I think they'd be pretty disappointed in themselves, especially Garnet since she's the team leader. They were never really that close with Lars, but they see themselves as the remaining guardians of planet Earth. Having a human die on Homeworld because he was captured by gem invaders who invaded Earth would definitely hurt the team's pride. Another small piece I want to go over is the whole debacle with Mayor Dewey rerunning for mayor against Nanafua and Dewey wins. Basically, every person in Beach City was blaming Mayor Dewey for the Topaz Aquamarine invasion and Lars still being in space, and he didn't even know what Lars's name was in this episode. Again, similar to the situation with Sadie that I mentioned, with the reactions of the people would still just be angered, but more amplified than what we saw in the real Dewey Wins episode. Maybe Mayor Dewey would have to do some greater gesture towards Lars's parents, besides just giving them a box of donuts. That wasn't in the episode Dewey Wins, but yeah. Per usual, let me know if I missed anything important I could have said that would have been affected by Lars remaining dead on Homeworld. In these types of videos, I try to go over the important key events that come to mind along with the characters that will be most affected internally, externally, or both by this event being changed to what I thought of. But I think that's going to be it for this video, though. Thank you guys so much for watching, and please be sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed it, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, take care, bye bye